Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 613. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 608 to 612. Hey, in this video, we want to follow up on what we did in um, 612. We have dates, but they are entered as text, and we need to summarize by year. So how in the world are we going to get a year? We have nines here and tens here. Those are entered as text. Well, in the last video, we added an extra column, and we did this formula. We extracted from the right the two characters, 09, and down here it was 10. And then we joined using the ampersand, Shift 7, 20. So we got our 2009, 2010, boom. We had a column of categories, and then we used a pivot table. Now, in this video, we want to do two things differently. We do not want to add that extra column, and we don't want to do it with a pivot table. We want to do it with a formula. Well, the whole trick will be just what we did over here, 20 ampersand right. Now, inside of our formula, remember, we want to summarize from two columns of data um, in one cell. In essence, what we're going to do is we're going to create um, an array that says true, true, true. This is 9 because it'll match this, but down here it'll be false, false, false. And then we'll say, we'll convert those trues and falses to 1, so all the 9s will be represent a 1 in an array, and the 10s will represent a 0. Then we will multiply this column times this column. 1 times this, plus 1 times this, etc. 0 times this, 0 times this. Add it all up in this cell. So we can't use sum if because the formula we're going to do to to uh, convert these and get trues and falses will be an array, and some if can't handle array. So we're going to use some product, and we're going to use the write function like we just uh, did in the last video. So equals some product. Notice some product is perfect for this because we got an array. We're going to have arrays of ones and zeros representing trues and false, and we'll multiply it by the second array, this one. Now, how do you get trues and falses, which we're going to create? to ones and zeros, use double negative. It will convert true to one and zero to f um, false to zero. Open parentheses, and we'll use our same trick. We're going to say 20 ampersand, which is shift 7, right? Now, here's where we depart. In the last video, we just clicked on a single cell, right? But in this one, we're going to control shift down arrow and then hit the F4 key because we want to lock it. Now, the right function text argument is expecting one text item. We're giving it a bunch. You can see right here, if you hit F9, boom, there's a bunch of them, right? As soon as we do that, it becomes an array formula. Now, just like in the last video, we want two, two from the right. So I'm going to type comma, and number of characters is two. Close parentheses. Now, if we highlight this and hit F9, you could see, boom, we got just what we want in an array, right? Separated by semicolons, which means go to the next row. Control Z. Now, if we highlight this 20, notice there's a single 20, and then there's a bunch of things here. But when you do this, it'll add 20 to the front of all these items, F9. Oh, there's what we want. Now, very important, notice that the Double quotes right there means that 2009 and 2010, Excel is thinking, it in, thinking of it as a word or text. Control Z. Now we're going to run into a problem, but we'll fix it. Just notice that, that those were text items. I'm going to say any of those equal to this. Now let's go ahead and highlight all of this. This should give us trues and falses. This is a comparative operator right here. Anything in here equal to that, we should get a true. Anything not equal to that, a false. Highlight it, F9, why are they all false? <laughs> Control Z. I'm going to put this um, in suspension mode just for a moment. Click there in space. Now I'm going to click here because that's a number. You can even tell by the formatting. By default, it's aligned to the right. That means it's a number. So we're going to get a little tricky here. Since we have a number and comparing against text, It'll never work. 2009 number, when you ask the question, is it equal to 2009 text, the answer is no. But no problem, we'll just convert this to text. Ampersand, double quote, double quote. Now watch this. Actually, if you double click just that and hit F9, you could see it is a number. It's not in quotes. 
Control-Z. Now highlight this and hit F9. It's in quotes. It's text. Control-Z. Now when you highlight this whole thing, we can get some trues and falses. F9. And there they are. Control-Z. Now we close parentheses. Highlight this to show you. Those double negatives will convert to ones and zeros. F9 and then Control-Z. We have our first array. Uh-oh, that was a deadly move. I'm so glad Control-Z works. Control-Z is undo. I was trying to click on this and move it. There's array 1, 1's and zeros, comma, and then our second array. Just simply highlight this column. Control-Shift-Down-L-F4. Close parentheses and enter. Now let's go ahead and um, You weren't supposed to see that. Uh, I want to bring this over here. Uh, just copy, Control C. Looking like looks like it's working, but I want to show you uh, a different method to do this. Instead of this, I'm, this is kind of esoteric, uh, converting a number to text that way. I'm going to delete that. Of course, we get zero because now we have um, this number sitting right there compared against text. But here's another way to do it. When you're entering this number, if you know you're going to get a text string, just put a lead apostrophe, and boom. Now, I'm going to leave it like this just for this example so that you can see two ways to do this. But really, you'd want to be consistent. You wouldn't want to leave. Um, if they're both text, that's OK. If they're both numbers, that's OK. Now, percentage change. Uh, we did this in our last video. I'm just going to click here, and I'm going to say equals the end value, because we went from here to here, end value divided by um, that value right there. Control Enter. I've already added percent format. F2, because actually I need to lock this. F2 puts it in edit mode. F4 locks the cell reference. Copy. Control V. All right, uh, there you go. Um, an array formula to summarize yearly data from dates entered as text and then to show year over year data. Now in our next video, 14, the last one we've been doing from 610 all the way to 614 year over year. Next one we're going to have these text items and somehow we're going to have to extract from that not only the year but the month because we want to build a pivot table and show year over year um, month, the change for each month during our two year period. All right, see you next trick.